at 11 a.m. I have to go to get my hearing tested. You're pretty much in profound. She's got a smile that it seems to me. Hello beautiful people and welcome to my channel. My name is Mal. Hello. How are you? Nice to meet you. If you're new here, welcome and I'm so glad that you're here. My channel is about music and bringing more awareness to the deaf culture and sharing my life as a deaf woman. So if you like that, please hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so you never miss a video because I don't want you missing a video. Today's vlog is going to be a busy one. Um, I have to go to the ear, nose, and throat doctor and then at 11 a.m. I have to go to get my hearing tested. Basically, it's been years since I've gotten my hearing tested and I've noticed a, a drop in my hearing and my family has noticed because my speech is not the best and also I'm just, I'm having a really like bad issue hearing people and I'm always like, huh, what, what's going on? And I'm not able to keep, keep up with everybody. My mother asked me the other day, are you present when we're at dinner? And I'm like, like, am I there? She's like, no. Like, are you present? Like, are you hearing everybody? Are you getting what everybody's saying? And I'm like, mom, I don't have six pairs of eyeballs to feed everybody's mouth. So we're going to get that checked today just to see where we're at. I might be getting new hearing aids. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, stay tuned. Thank you. So I am out of the ear, nose, and throat doctor now. It went smooth. It was just a quick in and out, nothing entertaining to see. The doctor did ask me if I was wearing my hearing aids and I was just like, 
nope <laughs> because I don't like wearing them um, the ones that I have they're the inner ear ones and they like all the sound that's around me like the background like the loudness everything just goes into that one spot and it's just so overwhelming and I just don't like it but he just said he's like you need to wear your hearing aids because he's like you're hearing and going to get worse and so yeah so today when I go get my hearing tested I'm gonna look at getting some new hearing aids and stuff so I just have to be open-minded and see what they have for me and hopefully they'll have something that works well so yeah so I am back home now um, I still have some time before my hearing test appointment so I'm gonna go in and make some breakfast because I am starving so I am in the kitchen now I am going to make some eggs and toast because I am so hungry I need food like now so cute so i finished breakfast which was really good i am on my way to the um place that i'm getting my hearing tested now i'm a little bit nervous because i haven't gotten my hearing checked in years but we're just gonna see what happens so yeah yeah you know what i wish but i wish it with love because there's hate in my heart for the ones i propose So if you look up here and you're low frequency, mm -hmm. you're at moderate severe. Okay. So you do better in those lower sounds mm -hmm. responding. Mm -hmm. When we get to the mid area, you're into the severe for both right and left. Mm -hmm. And then for the high frequencies from like your mid frequencies over all the way through your highest frequencies, you're pretty much in profound, okay? okay? Which is kind of what we knew mm -hmm. um, that you were um, having a harder time with the yeah. high frequency. All right, so your left ear and your right ear are about the same through each frequency. Okay. There's not much of a difference. So it okay. just tells me that, you know, you're experiencing the same thing in both of your ears. It's not one is way worse than the other. Okay. But I've always had an issue with high notes, like yes. hearing them. I mean, when I when I sing high, mm -hmm. I can barely hear myself. So 
Yeah. It's funny because I'm a soprano, so yeah. when I'm singing, I'm like getting all the way up there, but yeah. I can't really hear. You can't hear it. Yeah, no. Yeah. So, I mean, I can hear you just a, a little bit, you know? Yeah. <laughs> How about men's voices? Do you seem to do better with men's voices or is it about it's, the same? It's about the same. I mean, honestly, like, like you're looking at me right now, so it's easy. But like, if I was to turn around and, you know, I'm like I would still have an, I would still have an issue like hearing you. And yeah. so that's, that's, the, so that's what I've been struggling with. So what I want to do is I want to try one set of hearing aids with a high power receiver okay. and see if that's gonna be able to give you enough power to be able to hear. Okay. People that don't wear hearing aids, they don't understand. I know. You know? Saying. So like if I tell them, oh, it sounds too electronic, they're like, what does that mean? It's hard because with the hearing aid that I had before, it was just all the sound that was going around yes. me just was like in that one spot. And I was like, oh my God, I don't need this much sound. <laughs> I'm not gonna do in the ear with you. I'm gonna try something else that I think Let's see how they sound first, okay? Okay, because I want the most natural, clear sound that's gonna bring speech closer to you, and that's what these do. Do you mind if I take my mask off? I don't mind. Okay. You're you're tuning into that sense mm -hmm. of feeling things mm -hmm. rather than hearing them, mm -hmm. and reading lips and sign language mm -hmm. and expression. Mm -hmm. So. When you start hearing with a hearing device, mm -hmm. you're going to have to retrain your brain. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the first part we're going to do is we're going to calibrate them. Okay. You're going to hear a buzzing sound. Okay. We're just going to be very quiet. Okay. It's your hair. My hair? Mm-hmm. Hair makes sounds? Like it was rubbing. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. How how does my voice sound? It sounds a wee wow. Okay, hold on. Not too loud. Not too loud. My voice sounds very weird. <laughs> it's gonna sound weird because you're not used to hearing it. And whenever I was wearing hearing aids in the past, and me and my grandma, she wears hearing aids too, whenever we would hug, it'd be like, <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Sing something. <laughs> She's got a smile that it seems to me reminds me of childhood memories. That sounds so weird. Where everything was as fresh as the bright blue sky. Sounds so weird. Can you hear yourself better? Yeah. I'm switching into my head voice and I have to go like like that. It would make this E sound. Okay. Whenever I did like high belting and stuff. So that's kind of why I stopped wearing them when I was singing because it would just really annoy me. And when I'm with my family or people, I talk really, really loud and they'll be like, shh. So I am back home now. I have my new hearing aids in. Everything sounds weird. I mean, I'm hearing my voice. Um, and my voice sounds weird. <laughs> I'm hearing my brother right now play his guitar, which <laughs> I'm not really used to hearing that. My last hearing aids, they just, everything, like background noise, speed, noise, were just all in my ear. And it was so overwhelming and it was hard to explain to people that don't use hearing aids. And so the only way I could start, describe it was, it was overwhelming. I'm really grateful that I, got to get these hearing aids and that I took a hearing test because it was a bit, it'd been a long time since I got my hearing checked. But basically she just said that your hearing has gotten significantly worse and you need hearing aids or else it's just gonna keep getting worse and worse and worse. There is no cure for hearing loss. And so when people, you know, they see a deaf person and they're like, why don't you just get a cochlear implant and just fix it? There's no cure for hearing loss. If you have hearing loss, you have hearing loss. Now you can have, hearing devices to assist you, but it's not gonna cure your hearing loss. But yeah, I am pretty happy with my hearing aids. I'm gonna wear them and get used to them and see how everything sounds when I'm singing and when I'm doing music and stuff. If you liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel so you never miss a video. Also follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok, and I will see you guys in my next video. Love you guys, bye.